Oh hi there, Sage Kendo via 2 Max Productions here with just kind of a random rant, I guess you could call it. Uh, a lot of things been going on, training's been going really well, I'm trying to get my marathon legs back under me, and today I did a session, pretty hard session, uh, 3 by 5 kilometers, 5 kilometer repeats, you can check it out, it's up on Strava, just posted it on Strava.com, uh, but it was, yeah, I averaged 16 minutes flat for each 5k, uh, did it three times on this road loop out here in Boulder at altitude, uh, 1559, 1559, 1601 or 1602 on that last one, uh, with a short five minute recovery, half mile jog in between each 5K rep. So slowly getting the fitness back, getting the marathon speed, going with the legs. It's a great high end, we call it a high end aerobic, uh, lactate threshold tempo run type of workout, but also a very long specific type of workout for marathoners, uh, or half marathoners, but uh, to do that kind of volume, nine miles, over nine miles of pretty high intensity, high end aerobic running, really works the leg muscles as well. So you're working at, at your lactate threshold, you're working the musculature in your legs, the strength to, to hold that kind of speed, endurance, and stamina, but then also uh, working your cardiovascular system pretty hard. You can see my heart rate is getting pretty high on the last rep, the last half mile the last rep, but we'll fast forward a bit. Uh, let's take a look at this video clip from last night, what I ate for dinner last night. Sandy and I like to cook up a storm in the kitchen. Uh, this is a little clip of what I ate last night to carb up for this kind of workout today. So what we have here is a new recipe. This is what I'm eating, we're eating for dinner tonight. Uh, acorn squash baked uh, in the oven, and then we sauteed some, uh, well sauteed in water, uh, some vegetables, asparagus, onions, garlic, rosemary, um, got a little tofu there on the side. I made this creamy cheese sauce, vegan cheese sauce, I should say. Uh, it's actually made out of potatoes, carrots, nutritional yeast. And uh, also filled in the acorn squash is there's some quinoa in there. It's stuffed in there, but good old grain, lots of carbs, quinoa, tasty, and of course a real dark beer. That's the motor oil. Yeah, so basically that was kind of a, a new type of recipe uh, thing, but it's something we, you know, we're very high carb based, uh, you know, it's a plant based, whole foods, uh, high carb, low fat, and fairly low protein type of diet. I don't, I don't want to say low protein because people get upset with the, the protein thing, they're worried about my protein intake, they say, you know, you, you have to supplement, no, I don't take uh, any protein supplements or anything extra. You know, I eat almond butter on my waffles in the morning. I Even things like rice, I mean quinoa is a great source of protein, but even things like just rice alone, plain brown rice, white rice, sushi rice, whatever, uh, it actually has a, a considerable amount of protein in it. Now when you mix it with a complementary amino acids like, like uh, black beans if you're eating Mexican food, that's a great blend. Uh, and then, you know, your protein, your, your body could pool the amino acids uh, together as it's taking them in from time to time. So you're getting, I think at least, an adequate amount of protein, at least I have for my whole life uh, being a, a vegetarian for the last 29 years uh, growing up that way. And you know, I'm not perfect, I'm not quite vegan all the way. I'd like to think that I'm shifting in that direction, but I realize, you know, everyone has their, their weaknesses and if I travel and have to, you know, if I'm going, if I'm in France, I'm going to try fondue, you know, at least once if I'm in Chamonix or raclette cheese or, or something like that. Or if I'm out, at, you know, at a party and there's baked goods that look good and they might have eggs in them, you know, I'll, I'll chow down on that. So uh, I don't want to be like a hypocrite and be like, you know, vegan only. I, I respect that and I, I wish I could be more like that and I'm trying to get more like that. Like I, I don't buy uh, milk or, or cheese really anymore. I, I make vegan pizzas even. Uh, there you go, pizzas, carb up. It's good stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can't really be, I don't want to be a hypocrite, I, I guess, and I apologize if I've, I've come off that way. But you know, with things with athletic performance and diet, uh, it really plays a big role in your athletic performance. And you know, Besides sleeping and and uh, your actual physical training, uh, as well as maybe your mental mindset to some degree, uh, diet's going to be the next biggest factor influencing your athletic performance. Uh, you know, you are what you eat, kind of. You, you, you're 
you're changing uh, your body's health through what you eat. And to say, oh, you know, genetically I, I didn't get, I didn't win the lottery, you know, my parents are like this, so I'm predestined to, to be like this. No, you could improve your health through diet and exercise. And I think that's uh, the great thing about uh, living an athletic lifestyle and, and also being, you know, semi aware of, of nutritional things. Uh, now, obviously, you know, people are going to want to eat what they like to eat. It's very political, it's tied in, in religion, even, it's tied with uh, their beliefs growing up, it's tied to natural instinct to crave fats, to crave sugars, to crave uh, things like that, tasty things, uh, bacon. Uh, you know, people are very passionate about that. You don't you don't talk about politics, religion, sex, and, and diet, right? Those those are uh, taboo things to talk about. So, uh, you know, but the argument, and this is kind of off the the whole thing with the uh, WHO, World Health Organization, and their release their statement they released several days ago about putting uh, you know processed meat in the same category of cancer risk as. Uh, things like smoking cigarettes and the backlash that we saw uh, to that, just the, you know, just criticisms of validities of studies. And you do have to be critical of, of studies and things you see on the internet, I will say that. Because uh, you have to take into account that there are, there's a lot of money involved, there's a lot of politics involved, there's organizations that are, you know, supporting the meat and dairy industry, there's organizations that go the other way, um, and it influences politicians, it influences uh, the scientists, the actual researchers, uh, so you do have to have a careful eye on that. And But, I mean, common sense, do you really think bacon is, is good for you? I mean, it's this, you know, fried meat, it's obviously I think people, most people at least, would realize that it's not a healthy thing to eat in the first place and, you know, depending on your views, if, if it's even ethical, uh, pigs are very intelligent animals, they're like dogs basically. So, uh, you know, there's there's that, and environmental impacts as well, and you know, looking at documentaries like Cowspiracy, uh, you know, they even interviewed, I think it was in Cowspiracy, uh, the Mad Cowboy, uh, this, this rancher guy who went uh, vegan, vegetarian, and he said you'd really be, you can't really be, you can't call yourself an environmentalist unless you're vegan. Uh, so it kind of you know, that, that's obviously kind of uh, one of those statements, but it makes you think, because uh, you think of environmental impacts and energy costs and things like that, and uh, that's, I think, another good reason to, to examine your diet and to be critical. And, you know, I'm not saying you have to be a saint, and, you know, people are going to get really defensive when they like to eat what they like to eat. And But the argument, the argument that, uh, you know, everyone's body's a little bit different and everyone needs a special diet, I think is kind of invalid because uh, our DNA is pretty, pretty close, pretty similar. We're, we're very much the same, actually. So there's no special, I don't think, high fat diet that's going to help someone really excel and, and be healthy when, you know, a lot of the best endurance athletes in the world, uh, you know, East Africans uh, are eating very high carb high carb diets, uh, relatively low fat, um, and a lot of them are, are you know, fairly plant-based as well, whole foods plant-based is an important term, important takeaway there. Uh, so, and you, you know, studying other populations, healthy populations around the world, you see life expectancy and things like that change with their dietary influences. And that's kind of my rant, you know, I got worked up on social media a little bit, maybe you know, I'm stepping out of my bounds a little here, but I, I get worked up about things like that. And, you know, I think it's good that everyone has a stance and wants to, to argue things. But, uh, you know, Timothy Noakes, uh, you know, very world-renowned exercise uh, physiologist, exercise science guy, wrote The Lord of Running, decades of research behind him, uh, actually a, a has a doctorate degree, I believe, uh, PhD, uh, very well respected, but changed his stance a lot on uh, carb intake, fat intake, protein intake, things like that. And he had a tweet the other day that really kind of grinded my gears. It was a joke, but it wasn't funny. It started off with Hitler was a vegetarian, and then it went on to say how you know, maybe the world was changed by people's, people's diets. But just the fact that he was kind of bashing the, the plant-based crowd uh, wasn't okay 
with me and that's the way I interpreted it and other people did as well so uh, you know I posted that maybe on Facebook and uh, I got some into some discussions uh, with people that kind of supported his view uh, but he you know this is a guy that has type 2 diabetes and you know he's changed his stance on on carb intake and and things like that and is promoting the you know the banting or it's basically a paleo diet uh, and something that I'm obviously kind of the opposite end of the spectrum on and against uh, you know a lot of animal products and a lot of high fat you know high protein types of diets so uh, you know it led to a lot of discussion and I think getting facts out there and and really being critical with the validity of scientific studies and not believing everything you see posted on the internet, not even believing YouTube videos uh, by people like me, who obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm a doctor, uh, take my advice with a grain of salt, pun intended, uh, but, it, you know, I could express my opinion on social media, so uh, that's, that's what I'm doing, and, you know, it's something I believe in, it's something I've practiced, and obviously with diet, you do have to be careful, because the health implications are there, and I think awareness, though, is really the first step in uh, being critical of these issues. And, and you can make that personal choice uh, however you want it to be and however you want to shape your life. And, you know, if, if you are going to be like, bacon tastes good, so I'm going to eat it, uh, you know, that's fine, but realize the implications of, of uh, consuming something like that, I guess. Uh, you know, you don't want to be. I don't want to be one of those vegans that's always trying to, um, people don't like to be lectured to on, on diet too much. So I think the shift though with the plant-based uh, emphasis is very sustainable. And that's all I'm going to rant about uh, for now since this video is really long. Uh, but definitely know that you know you could burn fat very effectively as a marathon or ultra marathoner on a, on a very high carb diet, whole foods high carb diet. Uh, and you don't have to eat a lot of fat to burn a lot of fat and you know carbs aren't going to make you gain a bunch of weight it's it is you know a, cal a caloric thing and an, an exercise type of thing uh, but you know know that you need some essential nutrients as well so that's my rant uh, be sure to stay tuned hopefully for, for some more actual workout videos training videos training talks feel free to comment below with future training talk topic ideas as well as vote uh, or just comment about you know anything that grinds your gears that I said uh, but I thanks so much for the support I really do appreciate it and uh, be sure to check me out on Facebook Sage Canada fan page on Facebook at Sage Canada on Twitter and Instagram and then Sandy and I have a coaching running website uh, sagerunning.com you could also like us on Facebook uh, for our, our coaching business but thank you so much guys really do appreciate it Hope your fall training is going well, and stay tuned for more via 2Max Productions.